Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And in this video, I'm going to show you where I'm camping out while I'm in the McAllen, Texas area. And also tell you a little bit about camping out at the Elks Lodges all around the country. But first, let me go into my computer and show you where this area of Texas is. It's interesting the way they have the cities laid out here. So let me show you that first so you know where I am and what the area looks like. So this is far south Texas, also known as the Rio Grande Valley. And you can see this black line, squiggly line, that is the Rio Grande. And this whole area from Brownsville over to here it's comprised of a few dozen cities but the thing is driving from Brownsville up here it looks like one gigantic city there really is no separation between all these many cities where one city ends another city begins right across the street the three biggest cities is Brownsville, Hardingen, and McAllen. But look at the McAllen area here. Now, this is the Elks Lodge where I am right there. And over here we have Mission, McAllen, Farr, Edinburgh up north, Alamo, Donna, West Laco, Mercedes. All of these cities. Unless you see a city limit sign, you would never know. You're going from one city to another. Now, I don't know why they call this a real Grand Valley, because I've been here many times. I've never seen a valley. There are no even small hills. <laughs> and this area is also known as Winter Texan area. A lot of people, mostly in RVs, will come down here for the winter they act like Texans in the winter and then they go back to wherever they're from <laughs> when the winter is over, which in a lot of cases is Canada. A lot of Canadians drive their RVs down here for the winter. And in the summer it gets up to 110 degrees or more. I was here in the summer only once a few years ago. I wouldn't want to do it again. By the way, there's also Mexican towns you can visit. Matamoros. Progreso and Reynosa and here you can see it's directly south of San Antonio so now I'm going to go back out outside and show you around the Elks property now not all Elks lodges have RV parking available and that pretty much depends on the size of their property this one is unusually gigantic <laughs> in the yard back behind the building but a lot of lodges are in a more residential area and just don't have much room for parking other than cars i think this is curious they've got this chain link fence here and a gate but look on the other side of the gate there's nothing <laughs> Also, some of the lodges do allow RV parking. They have room for RVs, but they don't have hookups. And those I don't have much interest in. This one, on the other hand, has one of the biggest properties I've ever seen. Now, this one does have electrical hookups. It is very unusual, though. This is a situation that I have not seen only one other place where all of the hookups are in the same place on the same pole. Now, they do have a 50 amp that I'm using here, and there's a 30 amp, and then they have four 20 amp. So there is a possibility of six RVs hooking up here. However, they have to be strategically positioned <laughs> close enough to that post so that four people can easily get hooked up 
but for six RVs to get hooked up here at least two of them are going to have to have really long extension cords <laughs> they do have two water hookups to fill your tanks one is in the front of the building and one is back here right beside this building so you're going to have to drive around in order to fill up your fresh water tank and they do have a trash dumpster here which is full because they are in the middle of remodeling the lodge here so the construction company is putting a lot of trash away now a small percentage of the Elks lodges also have a swimming pool kind of rare but I've been to several that do so this one in their outback of the lodge they have barbecue grills and all these tables which you can use if you want and if I was here in the summer I would definitely be in that pool right now <laughs> this is one of the better Elks Lodges actually even though they're limited with the electricity hookups there and you have to drive to fill your water tank and the other problem is that they don't have a sewer dump station and that's because the city would not give them a permit to have one and I asked the exalted ruler of the Laos Lodge yesterday and I was told that that happened decades ago and they're not sure exactly why however at another Elks Lodge they told me that if they had electric water trash and sewer available to RVs that defines them as an RV park and in some cities if you're defined as an RV park that puts you under a whole long list of regulations that you have to follow which you may not be able to or it just may be too expensive to but then sewer dump stations are easy to find most truck stops have them for a fee of just five or ten dollars Elks lodges don't usually open until around noon and on some days they don't open and especially during these times of COVID some of the lodges are just not in opening at all so there's a mailbox here and a lot of the lodges will have some kind of a mail drop that you can put a payment in by cash or check I'm going to end this video by showing you how to find the Elks Lodges that do have RV parking available. Go to elks.org and then click on who we are and then go down to local lodges. Then when this page comes up, click on member resources and then lodge info and RV facility. Then here you select a state and then it pulls up all of the Elks Lodges in that state that has RV parking. And it gives you the details on some of them. Here it says water, electric and dump, $20 a night. And $20 is pretty much the highest price you're going to see maybe 25 but a lot of them are 10 or 15 even with electric hookups now for about 90 percent of the lodges you have to be an elks member in order to be allowed to park your rv there and you have to join a local lodge it's not a na national program you join a local lodge but that gives you access to all of the lodges around the country and you can go into any lodge in the country to join it doesn't have to be where you're a resident of well folks I hope this has helped you and some of your travels RV parking for more options good day folks